welcome back to Style Mom XO. And today I am very excited to be bringing this video over to you guys. It is all about the home hacks. So these are hacks that are going to be saving you time or money or maybe even possibly both. So I have just a couple hacks to go ahead and share with you guys. So I am so excited to be bringing this video to you. I'm actually doing this as a collaboration with Gentle Thrifty Mama. All her information and all that good stuff will be down below in the bottom bar. So be sure to go ahead and check out her video and her channel. Um, I love her channel, so don't forget to go ahead and check it out. I hope these hacks go ahead and help you. I know that they help me on an everyday basis. So with that being said, we're going to hop right into hack number one. Okay, so this hack is real simple. We have all done this. We accidentally put something that went from the washer into the dryer, but it shouldn't have gone into the dryer. And now you just ruined that brand new top. Or I've done this with my husband's sweater. I went ahead and put it in and it went from my husband's size down to my son's size. So this is something that has come in really big handy. So all you're going to do is when you go ahead and you toss in your clothes into the washer, you're going to take a dry erase marker and put simply on the top whatever it is just so it's a reminder to you that you need to go ahead and look for that shirt or those pair of shorts before you go ahead and put it in the dryer. So one shirt and one short. So that way when you come back to your washer to go ahead and put your stuff from the washer into the dryer, you go ahead and see your reminders so you don't forget to go ahead and take that stuff out. Then all you do is take a napkin, whatever it is, and simply wipe it away until next time. Okay, we are going to stay inside the laundry room for hack number two. Now when you're doing a full entire load and you need a full dryer sheet, then go right ahead, go ahead and put in a full dryer sheet. But if you're doing a small load, don't waste your dryer sheets. Simply take a pair of scissors, cut it in half, and then there you go. You're doubling up your dryer sheets so that they're not going to waste. And I mean, let's be honest, why use a full one when it's just a small load? Okay, hack number three. We all have that linen closet that just looks like a crazy mess and you're constantly looking for the matching pieces, for the matching pillowcases. So this is a simple hack to go ahead and take care of that problem. All you're going to do is make sure your sheets are folded on up. You're gonna take your pillowcase and simply place those sheets into the pillowcase and then fold the pillowcase on over and place this inside your linen closet that way when you go ahead and go to change your sheets on your bed you're just grabbing one complete set and everything is right inside and then everything also stacks up nicely and neatly inside your linen closet okay so hack number four if you are a scarf lover then this hack is for you I love scarves, but they're just everywhere. And honestly, I don't want to spend $10, $12 on a special hanger just to hang them. So this hack, all you're going to do is take one of your old hangers that you already have, go down to Target, Walmart, wherever you are, and pick up a set of shower hooks. These ones were really inexpensive. They were only $1.99. So then what you're going to do is take the shower hooks, open it up, simply place them on your hanger, close them back up, take your scarf, run it through the shower ring, and you have an inexpensive scarf holder that literally only cost you $1.99. Okay, so this next hack is actually a hack that I learned from my son's godmother, Carrie. I love her. So it's simply taking your sponges that you use to wash your dishes in the kitchen. And I mean, let's be honest, do you really need a huge sponge? But all you're gonna do is take some scissors, cut your sponge in half, 
Now I do have to admit, it does take about a good solid week to go ahead and get used to using a small sponge, but once you do, it is a-okay and you just went ahead and doubled your sponge. So if you buy a, those big old packs of sponges over at Costco, they are gonna last you forever. So basically you are saving your money because you're doubling that entire pack. Okay, so we all love those hangers that are the non-slip ones with your spaghetti straps or there's those tops that constantly go ahead and slip off. But these can go ahead and get expensive. So this hack, is simply taking the hangers that you already have. If you have a glue gun, simply go ahead and just do a little wiggly line on the hangers that you already have. So once that dries, you just went ahead and changed your slip hanger into a non-slip hanger. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the hacks can help you a little bit, maybe one or two. Don't forget to hop over to Gentle Thrifty Mama's channel and see her video as well. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any videos. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.